Welcome to another camp cooking video. I am Amanda, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make foil packet meals in three different ways. I've also heard these called hobo packets, but when I was younger and camping, my mom always called them foil packets. These three ideas are really different from one another, and they're so, so simple, so hopefully you can have some variety and a nice, easy meal when you go out camping. So we have a fire going behind us. We've been letting it settle down because you're not gonna put these foil packets on an open flame. You're gonna actually take some coals, put them to the side, and then put the packets on top of that. So I have the fire going, and then in addition to all of your normal camp cooking gear you're also going to need some heavy duty aluminum foil definitely recommend that you get the heavy duty stuff for this one and then you're also going to need some metal tongs to flip the foil packets when they're on the coals because they're gonna be really hot let's jump right into the recipes first up we have turkey foil packets okay for this one we have some ground turkey carrot apple, salt and pepper, the usual, potato, onion, butter, and a little bit of sage. I'm just gonna start by chopping all of the veggies into nice bite-sized pieces. You don't want them to be too small because then they'll kind of just get mushy. So I'm doing that for the carrots, the potatoes, and the onions. And then the green apple, I actually am going to chop a lot smaller because I do want that sweetness to kind of melt into the rest of the packet. So put all that in a bowl, set it aside. Rip off a good sized piece of foil and I'm just gonna take a fork and scoop out some ground turkey onto the foil. As you can see here, I'm not even gonna roll it into meatballs, it's not necessary. Just scoop out as much as you want per serving. And then I've also added a few little cubes of butter to my veggies and apples. So I'm just putting all of that on top of the turkey nice and easy and then we are going to sprinkle it with a little bit of ground sage some black pepper and some sea salt now we're ready to fold the foil packet so to fold a foil packet bring in the longest edges first and then fold them down then fold in the two ends rip off another piece of foil and put the packet seam side down and then repeat the same folding process. So bringing the long edges in, folding it down, and then folding in the edges. Repeat this one more time, so for a total of three pieces of foil. And the three pieces really help to just seal in all of that steam and all that heat and also prevents your food from burning when we put the packets on the coals. Next up, we have sausage foil packets. So we have some chicken sausage, salt and pepper, and then onion, pepper, potatoes, a little bit of butter, and that's it. Once again, we're gonna start by chopping our veggies into nice bite-sized pieces. So here I have the peppers and then the potatoes. And you can see in the bowl here, just the size that I'm going for. Lastly, add in the onion. Now I have some pre-cooked chicken sausage for this one, which is so easy. I usually would pack about one to one and a half sausages per person. And as you can see here, again, just cutting it into nice bite-sized pieces. And then a few little slivers of butter, about a tablespoon per packet is good. So we're ready to assemble. I'm taking the butter stick and I'm just spreading a little bit of butter on the bottom. If you forget this step, it's not a big deal. Put all of your chopped veggies and sausage right in there. Add a few little pieces of butter sprinkled around there. And then of course, some black pepper and some salt and you're good to go. Roll it up just like we talked about before and it's ready for the coals. The last packet is a salmon foil packet. So this is one of my favorites. Here we have some asparagus, a lemon, salmon, and then I'm gonna throw some green onions in there and some rosemary. Start by chopping the green onions and leaving the little roots off. And then I've already trimmed and cleaned the asparagus at home, and so I'm just gonna cut that into thirds. But you can actually leave it whole, that works fine too. 
Lastly, I am slicing lemon into a few thin slices. Rip off a piece of foil, and again, I'm just gonna spread a little bit of butter on there and lay down three slices of the lemon. On top of that, put a nice piece of salmon and then sprinkle around the asparagus and green onions on top. You can also use green beans in this one and that's really good too. And then I'm putting a few sprigs of rosemary on there and about a tablespoon of butter. Some fresh black pepper and salt and fold it up. Again, bringing in the long edges first. Repeating that process three times and the salmon packet is ready for the coals. So we are ready to cook. Right now I am just breaking apart my coals. My fire has completely died down, but it's still really, really hot, even though I know it does not look like it's hot. So I'm just breaking apart the coals there and then putting the foil packets directly on the coals. We just put them on the fire and part of the fun with these foil packet meals is exact time for cooking is definitely gonna vary depending on the heat or I mean the temperature of your coals. What we're gonna do is rotate them about every 10 minutes just to get a nice even cook on them. Here are some tips for helping you kind of know if the coals are too cold or too hot. You want to hear, hear a sizzling, but it shouldn't be like a crackling, like a kind of really loud sizzling. It should be kind of faint, but you can hear it if you're sitting near the fire. And now they're done. That's my camp wand. I want to get a little bit more heat going on here so I'm going to take these off and then bring in some more of these coals here just to kind of get a little bit more heat down in here and then I just put them right back on. Ours have been on the coals for about 40 minutes now, so we're gonna pull them off. It's really hard to give an exact time for how long they should be on there because it, there's so many factors, like how big you cut the veggies, how much you actually stuff into the foil. So like if you have a really, really big one, that's gonna take a little bit longer. And of course, how hot the coals are. Just have fun with it. You can always pull them off the coals, check things like the potatoes and carrots, which typically take a little bit longer. If they're not done, just throw them back on there. It's no big deal. It's really, really flexible and it's just part of the fun. Once they're cooled a little bit, just be very careful as you're opening them up because there is some steam in here. Ooh, yeah. There we go, three foil packets. Make sure to check the description box below. I'll have a printable that has the recipes and a grocery checklist and instructions that you can just take with you to camp so it'll be nice and easy for you. When you go to eat these, you can just add more salt, pepper, ketchup is really good, hot sauce is really good. So you can add whatever you want to the top of them but they should be delicious just like this as well. I hope you guys get a chance to try these. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. All of <coughs> the info. I'm falling apart. <clears throat> I just can't anymore. All right. Seeing, oh, seeing stars. Whoa.